Hello. Uh, this is my second reading of an essay I've written here at, at Spin the Bottle, and I'd just like to thank Brett Fetzer for having faith and having me back, because it just shows that he believes my life is pathetic enough to be entertaining. Um, uh, which hopefully is still true. Okay, let me get I'm not, I don't normally do this on a podium. Uh, here we go. Uh, the name of this essay is What a Pain in the Leg. <laughs> I think I'm going to have a good night. <laughs> I had a suspiciously large mole on my leg. It was shaped like a square. They say it's generally not a big deal if your mole is a regular shape. So when I'm looking at a square mole, I have to ask, is it normal to be square? Like mathematically, that's a regular shape. Square. Squares are one of the most regular shapes we have. Then again, a dodecahedron is mathematically regular. And if I had one of those growing on my leg, I'd freak the fuck out. <laughs> it was all the same color, a good sign. It wasn't uneven in texture, that's another good sign. But the problem is I didn't recognize it. And I know my body like the back of my hand. <laughs> like all good red-blooded Americans, I treat anything foreign like it wants to kill me. <laughs> that the mole didn't look dangerous, but agreed to remove it, saying, if I want it gone, she always errs on the side of caution. I imagine in medical school they have cute mnemonics for such situations. When in doubt, cut it out. <laughs> or that other one, make the annoying hypochondriac shut up. <laughs> I won't feel a thing, she said. I won't need any stitches. And she'll just put a Snoopy Band-Aid on it. It's simple. I was calm. She started the procedure by asking the nurse, how big of an incision am I supposed to make? <laughs> I was no longer called. <laughs> By the time she complained, this is being annoying, and would you just get in there? I had checked out. Listening to her chastise my mole for being difficult was too much for me. I wanted to tell her not to piss it off. We don't know what it's capable of. <laughs> away in the sample dish, I apologize to it. Much like an atheist might pray to God, because you know, it can't hurt. <laughs> I looked down to see my childhood friend Snoopy acting as a gravestone for what was once part of me. The week waiting for my lab results was terrible. My brain was in overdrive considering potential death even while I slept. Allow me to describe the worst nightmare ever. It involves being locked in a room for seven days with Snoopy staring at me. <laughs> I am so glad the Swedish chef isn't on band-aids. <laughs> so I was relieved to finally see my doctor again. She started off by saying, I learned something today. <laughs> great phrase for an after-school special, <laughs> but in this context, it's right up there with how big of an incision do I make? And as much as, a, as I didn't like either of those doozies, uh, she followed up with something even better. It's cancer. Being told you have cancer is about as fun as finding out you have cancer. <laughs> I wanted to shed my skin instantly, but that's not an option, and I had to deal with it. The five stages of cancer, um, I'm sorry, the five stages of grief are denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and acceptance. I did the first four in a single stage I call fuck my life. <laughs> By moving quickly into acceptance, I could set up an appointment with a skin cancer specialist. We scheduled surgery right away. The new doctor took a much larger chunk of my leg off, a one centimeter border around the original lesion, basically a skin cancer donut. I had a certain level of unrest as I lied on the operating table and noticed cobwebs hanging from the lighting instruments. I began to worry that I would have to pay for this procedure in Levi's and cigarettes. <laughs> All I saw was his hands flashing around, quickly cutting, burning, tugging, and tying my leg. His whirling dervish of skin cancer removery looked like Jerry Lewis using a typewriter. Oh! Are they French? With a larger piece of 
me missing, I had to wait a larger amount of time before returning to the specialist's office for my results. Two weeks of mounting tensions as my brain ran rampant over the possibilities. If the results came back bad, I don't know the next step. Maybe cut my leg off. The doctor's home must be full of umbrella stands and table lamps that are very disturbing upon second glance. <laughs> I sat in the waiting room two weeks later, staring at patients with bandages all over their faces. It looked like a scene from one of the non-funny episodes of M.A.S.H., and nobody likes those episodes. <laughs> the nurse didn't look up as she called my name. The frown on her face convinced my panicked brain of the worst. It's more cancer. I'm dying. I'm dead. I'm already dead, but no one told me yet. I clutched the chair in the exam room, ready to hear the worst. But her demeanor changed. She smiled brightly and asked, has anyone called to tell you your test results came back okay? Oh my god, I was going to be fine. No, no, no one called me. Oh, let me go and check what the results are then. Oh god. <laughs> I got punked by a cancer clip. <laughs> the results came... <laughs> the results came back fine. The cancer is gone, but damn it, that wasn't the worst way to deliver it. The doctor sent me on my way. However, a week or so after I left his office, I noticed another mole I'm suspicious of. It's just a small bit of skin, and of course, when in doubt, cut it out. It's, it's simple. But maybe the location of that small bit of skin changes your mind. Imagine, if you would, my penis. <laughs> tip of my penis. Imagine that I have a discoloration on the tip of my penis. Not a horrendous, misshapen, disgusting thing, but I am concerned nonetheless. I measured this spot to be around three millimeters, knowing that six millimeters is the size we are supposed to get worried about. However, penises have a tendency to do something that other parts of the body don't. scared boy's cancer penis <laughs> is like eight millimeters on the popular boy's sex penis. <laughs> cut off. It's the tip of my penis. I'm very fond of my penis, and so are a few others. It's even been referred to by one flattering soul as the perfect penis. As in the phrase, how can I say no to the perfect penis? I made a special appointment to show my doctor. He stood along the wall of the exam room wondering why I was there. Doctor, please look at my penis. There's a spot. Oh, you mean this freckle? It's, it's pretty large for a freckle. It's a freckle. It's not shaped right. Uh, it's like a triangle. It looks more like a boot, doctor. It's a triangle. I think it looks kind of like Italy. <laughs> it's a triangle. Okay, fine, it's a triangle. My mole is shaped like a triangle. My square mole was cancer, and that's just two triangles slammed together. <laughs> he measured it to compare it to six months from now. I should have guessed as much which means I have yet again to wait for answers. So this is where I'm at. Every day for the next six months, I stare at my penis in fear. <laughs> Officially, my penis is still perfect, just spiritually tainted. It may turn out to be nothing, but as that old adage goes, where there's smoke, there's penis cancer. <laughs> Every day. I was using banana boat UV protectant until I spilled some and saw it remove the color from my leather couch. <laughs> I consider that a bad sign. It turns out skin products are a maze of danger all on their own. Most skin products contain parabens, which some people believe cause cancer. Great. I might as well just rub the sun directly on my arms. Parabens are like the high fructose corn syrup of lotion. 
<laughs> to avoid parabens, I am now uh, forced to buy expensive creams from the Fembot employees of Sephora. <laughs> <laughs> they are all very nice, but they wear so much makeup, I'm not sure an actual human is under <laughs> I'm weirded out enough paying $10 an ounce for something called Super Goop. This is my plight. So until my next appointment six months into the future, I use the extra banana boat to masturbate each night, hoping it will dissolve the boy. <laughs> Yes, I that was the correct answer. Uh, so, oh my goodness, I'm very excited.